This whole place has been ransacked. What you're about to watch is simply unexplainable. Huh? I feel that there is a presence in this house that you're about to see in this video. Oh. Everything about this video that you are about to watch will definitely have you rethinking ghost activity and paranormal things. I want to touch on a few things before you get into watching this video that you must know. Um, what you're about to watch is simply unexplainable and it definitely has me raising questions about this whole entire house. Um, we did learn more about the story uh, behind the families that did live there. The Livingstons were one of the first families ever to live in that house. And when we searched back, this was in the early 1900s and um, the house was built in the late 1800s. So this house has been around, it's seen a few families and the Livingstons were definitely ones that had a very, very weird history about themselves. The grandmother that lived in the house to begin with, <clears throat> she was a Livingston and she died in the house says of natural causes, which, you know, that's peaceful and um, <clears throat> understanding. Uh, the family that was killed by all of the cult members, that's more disturbing to me. And I feel that there is a presence in this house that you're about to see in this video that can't be explained. Um, everything about this video that you are about to watch will definitely have you rethinking ghost activity and paranormal things. Um, Cause I, I, I look back and I'm thinking, okay, it could have been one of two things. One of them kind of makes sense, but the second one, it doesn't. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. something was there. It, the chair on the couch, that's gone. <clears throat> I don't think that was there. I don't know. Oh, 
for a fact that couch was against that wall and something was right there like a dresser or something oh my gosh this is what I set the the BMB box and the spirit box on there's that glass on it that might be where all that glass came from This is broken. <clears throat> way. There is no way. That right there, all of this, that was knocked over. All of this is up. This is like I haven't, it like literally feels like I haven't even been here. To me, it's exactly what it feels like.
I love you. I love you so, so much. You broke my heart because, okay, that's interesting spelling. You are the done and only you have. You, how much do you love me? I love you to the moon and back. That's a creep. I, I was joking around about a love note, but that's creepy as hell. Right now, what's more concerning to me is going up these stairs alone. Oh, dude. Shit. That wasn't standing up. That thing was not standing up. None of that was on the bed. Oh! The cat thing has moved up. Literally, everything has changed.
Leave me alone. Please. Oh, thank you. Leave me the f alone. Leave me alone! Please leave me alone. Please. Oh, I command you to stay and not attach yourself. Don't you dare come with me.
So you just watched the entire video and I'm really hoping that you picked up on some of the things that um, I did when I watched the footage back. Uh, number one, I noticed probably that disturbs me more than anything was that everything was broken. I mean, everything in that house was literally broken. Um, and, and just knowing how close houses are in proximity to this house, if there were some kids in there vandalizing things, they would have been called. And uh, this is a very tight knit neighborhood and area that this house is in. So anyone that looks out of place is definitely gonna have the cops called on them. And then you start breaking the amount of glass and plates and, and, and all kinds of stuff in there that I, you would be called. I mean, there's, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, and there's no other way other than this was some type of ghost activity. That's at least what I believe. I didn't want to believe it when I was watching the footage back, but I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, all those plates were smashed. All the glass was smashed. I mean, there's, the, the place is literally ransacked upside down. And I've heard of spirits, I've heard of energy and demons doing certain things as far as destroying the place that a lot of people come to visit and come to investigate to, in order to scare them off. I don't know if that's the case in this exact instance, but 91% of me is leaning towards that. This could be something demonic. This literally could be something saying, don't come in here. Um, <clears throat> as you all saw, I, oh my gosh, um, I, I was having a lot of trouble breathing at one point in the video. It, 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 it felt like somebody was, like I was laying on the ground like and, and, and someone was standing on my chest. Like it just felt like so much weight bearing down on my chest and, and, and my st half of my stomach region. And I'm, I didn't realize that at the time when I was filming the video, but I was breathing so heavy. And I, I, I got annoyed listening to myself breathe and, and I apologize if anybody else did for that matter. Um, I don't know what exactly happened about the last quarter of, of that video. I, I really don't. I, and to me, it's like a blur. Um, I dropped that knife a couple of times, which I don't, I had the knife out because at one point I thought that there was someone upstairs. Um, but again, th this house probably holds more, more spirits and energy than, than most. I, I truly believe that. And who do I think it is? Do I think it's four family members plus that grandmother Livingston? I, I, I don't know. There, there could be 20 people that died in that house, but uh, there's five confirmed. I just don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, I, I'm trying to wrap my head around things. And when I really dive deep into this, I think to myself, okay, is it worth going back? Because we do push the limits a lot. And I especially pushed the limits by going back by myself. And I showed Sonny the footage and he's like, oh, that's, that's a little trippy. Like, you know, maybe it was some kids that went in there and broke in and, and destroyed this place. But I don't get it. There's no way that anybody goes into that house and breaks that amount of items and, 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 and basically flips all of it over without somebody knowing something or somebody seeing something. So I, I kind of am in this state of mind where I'm a little weirded out to go back, but I'm like, maybe do I go put up like deer cams in this place and, and see if I can catch any movement? I mean, uh, clearly if there's a damn, you know, uh, if there's a damn uh, uh, microwave that gets tossed across the damn room or something crazy, uh, you know, that would be great to catch on footage, but I, I just, I'm going through my head and I'm trying to figure out and I'm trying to search for answers. And I, I'm, I, I say that we're paranormal investigating, but let me preface on something here real quick. I'm not an expert. Okay. I'm not. So I do see some of the comments that are like, you're not a real paranormal investigator. You're right. I'm not, I'm, I'm just not. I'm an adrenaline junkie that goes to these extremely haunted places or places that have a very weird, sinister and twisted story. And we spend a ton of time there and we film a video to give you all content here on YouTube. To me, all of this is scary because I don't even know how to put this. Um, like there's, Things that happen outside of the, there's just things that happen outside of this video 
that I don't really know how to explain. Um, there's been a recent string of bad luck for myself and for Sonny here lately. Um, what makes you question, do you continue this? Do you continue pushing your luck? At what point does that luck string break and, and, and then you're really screwed? I, I don't know. I don't know at all. But I can tell you one thing for sure that there is um, maybe it's something that is attached to us. I, I don't know. Maybe there's something attached to me. Um, I, I feel that ever since I filmed at my haunted farm that I purchased, the Honeycut Farm, that kind of everything in my life's been haywire. And I mean everything, everything from top to bottom of my life, side to side, everywhere is just um, very strange, very weird vibes that I get, especially going into some of these places. But um, more, more than ever, I, th I definitely think something has followed me from the Honeycut Farm. I don't know how to get rid of it. I don't even know how to communicate with it. I, I, the last thing that I'm gonna do is try to like communicate with this at my house. Um, so I, right now, I'm in, in seeking advice and, and counsel from fellow paranormal investigators um, who have way more experience and possibly doing a cleanse and, and, and things of that nature. So I, I, I don't know. I, all I'm trying to say here is that there's two options. Either it was a bunch of kids that went in there, ransacked the house and mysteriously didn't get caught. Or number two, it was a demon entity, spirit, some type of energy that destroyed this whole place. And it could have very well happened like that. I don't know. I really don't. So I'm going to do a couple things here. Before we leave off, I just want to tell you, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Um, more than 50% of you are not subscribed to my channel, so if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Also, drop a like on that uh, thumbs up button there as well, and um, yeah, I do appreciate it. One more thing before you go. Motivated Eyewear, I'm gonna be giving away a t-shirt and sunglasses combo. All you gotta do is go to my Instagram, at CJ Faison. Go right up on there, comment on the last uploaded picture. That is all you've got to do. And without any further ado, if you have any location requests, drop them in the comments below. I love you all so much. We'll see you all next time, maybe, I guess.